All right, here we are in the back of the Terminator Salvation Arcade game. Uh, today we're going to do a uh, upgrade. We're going to install a uh, harness, and here's the harness right here. Uh, and this is for the gun sensor boards. Uh, the problem is when the game is on, anytime it's on, the infrared sensors, which are used by the camera and the gun to track the target position of the gun uh, stays illuminated all the time and this shortens the life of the infrared sensors so uh, what this harness does it allows to control the infrared sensors to be able to turn them on and off uh, through the the game itself so when the game is on and in a track mode the infrared sensors will be off therefore uh, they won't uh, have the, uh, the extra time or use on them and they should uh, make them last a lot longer. Uh, on this location here I don't have a problem with the sensors but at the other location I'm going to have to do the same thing and I have some infrared sensors that have gone bad and which is allowing the, the guns not to track properly. So this little uh, upgrade here will ensure that the infrared sensors last a whole lot longer than uh, being switched on and off than rather to be on all the time. So uh, let's go ahead and, and install it. First thing we need to make sure, and we've already done it, uh, it has to have software version 1.20 or later. This one came from the factory loaded with 1.25, so the software is already installed and it, it should automatically switch the uh, sensors on and off once we install the, the harness kit. So all we have to do now is uh, find the, uh, the harness and and install basically one connection in a JAMA harness and put this between the, the gun harness itself. Okay, in the bottom of the cabinet here we've located the terminal here. It's written on it, it says gun sensor. So what we need to do is unplug this four pin plug and insert the, uh, the new harness in between these two plugs. Okay, and here is the, uh, the new harness. It just has uh, a female and a male plug which goes in between the, the uh, original plug. Then it has a purple wire and on the other end of the wire is a terminal to go in the jammer harness, so uh, which plugs into the uh, I/O board. So let's go ahead and, and put it in. Okay, we've uh, inserted the new new harness in the line here. Now all we have to do is put this wire in the jammer harness. So now we have to locate the jammer harness. And there it is right there, and it's on the, uh, the I.O. board. So we have to disconnect that harness and insert the, uh, the wire into the correct terminal. Okay, we have the, the harness loose here, and we have to insert it in slot number 9, and which is right, right here. So all we have to do now is just slide it in and replace the, uh, the harness. Alright, now we've installed the purple wire in the number 9 uh, terminal on the jammer harness here. So now we can plug it back in. Okay, we're waiting for the Terminator Salvation to boot back up. The infrared sensors are in this strip under the marquee and a strip over top of the marquee. It's five boards on the top and five boards on the bottom. Each board has three infrared LEDs. Now, the game doesn't use all 30 of the infrared LEDs. I have a chart that shows me which ones they use or not. And if we've done our job right, once it boots up and the game is in a track mode, we shouldn't be able to see any of the infrared LEDs on with the camera. 
So if we put the camera up next to the strip here, I don't see any of the infrared LEDs. So now if we start a game, and if we've installed the harness correctly, uh, when we start the game, the LED should turn itself on. So let's uh, coin up a game and, and see if we have success. All right. Now we should have infrared LEDs on. And there you see them. There's three infrared LEDs right there in that one board. And we only got two on the top. That means one of them is out. So I'm going to have to replace that. But it, it seems to be working now. So let's see if the game targets correctly. game is seems to be targeting just fine so it appears everything is working like it should Here's our job is done here. So now we get to go to the other location and do the same thing on the other one. Okay, Terminator's back up and running again with the new uh, infrared harness. Uh, so that's it for this edition of Arcade Fix. Have you had your Arcade Fix today?